Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 1.6 thesis development part 2. Again, this is 1.6 of our historical foundations unit. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to do the following. You should explain the key elements of a thesis statement, which are local and broader context, the counterclaim, supporting points, and then your actual thesis statement. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to effectively write a thesis statement. Okay, so we're going to use this lesson today to practice that in our Commonwealth groups. So by the end of our lesson today, you should be able to write an effective thesis statement. Here is just a review for you of what the thesis formula is. LCBC, however, A and B, therefore Y. LCBC should be two to three sentences in length. However, A and B should be one to two. Therefore, Y is only one. And of course, X is only one as well. And all of these items will make up your thesis statement. So this all, whole paragraph makes up your thesis statement. And the whole paragraph should be roughly around five to seven sentences long. So now we're going to practice some thesis writing. And so what you're going to do now is working in your Commonwealth group. So at this point, you should be working in a Commonwealth group. You're going to use the sentence strips that are provided for you by me, and you're going to choose one, only one of these as a group to sit and discuss. Now, this is not, uh, this is not for you to debate. So these, while these are controversial questions, so this is, you know, so this is controversy. So please understand, because these are all modern questions. So yes, these may be controversial, and some of you may have some very deep uh, opinions about them. Please, this is not designed to be... Um, something for debate. So we're not going to debate any thoughts or anything like that. The only thing you're doing is trying to use these questions to practice thesis writing. So choose one of these questions, discuss at your table, you know, uh, how you would uh, go about addressing this question because you have to have both positive and negative because remember you have to have counter and claim. So you have to have both pros and cons for either one of these. So. Discuss as a Commonwealth group which one of these you want to use to, to analyze, to, to answer. And I will provide you with sentence strips, and then you will actually write out a formula, a, a thesis, using the thesis formula as a group. If you have any questions, seek me out. So, our lesson has ended, or at least the video lesson part has for thesis development part two. So, you should be able to explain the key elements of a thesis statement by now. LCBC, X, A and B, and Y, what they are and how to go about writing them, and can you write an effective thesis statement? So after you've practiced with your Commonwealth group and uh, you have you get a little bit more uh, comfortable with a thesis form, that you should be able to effectively answer this question. Yes, I can write a thesis statement. Complete any activity, which you're going to uh, do for 1.6, which is the sentence strips, and then once you have completed that and you feel comfortable, if 1.7 is available, go ahead and move forward and do that. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day and enjoy time, working time in your Commonwealth groups.